Good afternoon again, everybody. I uh, hope you are enjoying lunch. Um, we wanted to take a little bit of time here as you're completing lunch before we start into the afternoon sessions and just give you a little bit of opportunity to, to meet and, and hear from uh, the Board of Trustees. We did this at last year's um, event towards the end of the day and we got some pretty, we got some constructive feedback that that was helpful for, for, for folks to hear about who the trustees are. So uh, again, my name is Scott McCarty. I'm the chair of the board. You heard my comments this morning, so I'm not gonna restate those at this time, but we'll, we'll each make some comments, uh, share our perspective of what it's like to be a trustee on this system, and then at the end, if, if you have any questions for us or comments, we're more than happy to, to take those. So I'll go ahead and start with uh, Vice Chair, Mr. Harry Papp. Harry? Thanks, Scott. Uh, I'm Harry Papp, I'm Vice Chair, I'm in my seventh year at PSPRS, and boy have we seen a lot of change, holy cow. Uh, and for me, the, uh, I think the vast majority of the change has been really constructive and helpful, and uh, it, it has not been easy, but uh, um, things are in a lot better shape than they were um, seven years ago, so that's really important. I'm a professional investment advisor, I work mainly, we have a small firm, a small registered investment advisory firm in Phoenix. I'm the managing partner. Uh, we have um, 11 partners and uh, 12 or 13 support staff. And we look after uh, the investments for five or 600 relatively wealthy people. And uh, uh, that's what I do during my day job. And uh, I, I enjoy being on the PSPRS board I'm also on the board of the Phoenix Zoo, so come on out to the Phoenix Zoo. And, um, and we're relatively hated, I think. Some of the, anyway, I'm also on the board of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Arizona, which is um, uh, another one that's an awful lot of work. But uh, I'm here for the investments, and I wanna make sure that um, the investments are uh, as safe as possible, but also that they're well-designed so that they're relatively likely to hit our assumed funding rate, which we've been uh, uh, bringing down slowly over the last few years. We're currently at 7.2%, but I think you're all aware that if we change that very much, it has uh, implications on uh, um, contribution rates, and uh, that touches you know real lives of people working in the trenches every day, so we're really careful with that. But we are careful with the investments. We are thoughtful. You've got a wonderful investment team. Uh, Mark Steed, uh, who heads that up, uh, has been very successful. He's been here uh, uh, before, but um, I think in 2018, he, um, uh, he became the uh, chief investment officer, and uh, that has caused you know, enormous change for the better. And uh, we have a really well-designed portfolio. We've got um, expert consultants that help us from New England pension consultants. And um, uh, we've been able to attract uh, high-quality people, which is uh, really useful. So I enjoy it. Um, uh, obviously, uh, hanging around Phoenix, Arizona, I'm really pleased there are firefighters and police officers available. I hope not to need you guys, but it's nice to know that you're there. So, uh, Dean, Dean Scheinert. Good afternoon, my name is Dean Scheinert, and uh, with these fine gentlemen, I'm also a member of the Board of Trustees, and I've been on the board about as long as Harry has. And my family and I moved from New York in 2012, and you know, when you live in New York and you're raising a family, all you could think about is surviving every day. So I didn't have a lot of bandwidth to invest in my community, and I promised myself that I would in our new home of Phoenix. And I was invited to join the board, and it's been an incredible experience, not only to serve you, which is our number one priority, but to work with extremely bright and passionate fellow board members, not to mention the staff. My day job is that I used to work in Harry's field, but I was not nearly as good at it as Harry was. So I decided to transition about nine years ago to nonprofit. 
And I work in the homeless community in Phoenix, and I don't know if you've ever heard about the zone, but it's the area of downtown where the homeless community has a bunch of services. And we are just outside of the main campus. And I want to give a shout out to the firemen and police officers who basically come to our justice center every day to help our members, we call our clients members in stress. So our mission is to serve seniors who are experiencing homelessness and you can imagine both the physical and mental health challenges that they have every day. And we have a lot of services within, but oftentimes we need the help of our local firemen and police officers. So big shout out, thank you very much. Okay, hi everybody. Uh, I think most of you uh, know me by now. Um, I still get people that will come up and, and start talking to me and, and think that I'm Mike Townsend and that they can, <laughs> they can send me money. Uh, and that's fine. Uh, but I'm Darren Wonderly, and uh, it's, it's an honor to be here. Uh, I just want to say a couple things about the board. Um, we don't always agree, uh, but you have a, in my opinion, a tremendous, not talking about me, but a tremendous board here. Um, each one of these individuals, uh, to include uh, Brian Moore as well, uh, puts a tremendous amount of effort into uh, finding solutions, collaborating. Again, we don't always agree, uh, but we're respectful to each other. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, also, just a special thanks to uh, CSA out there and the league. Uh, they uh, have an open door policy and uh, we, we work with them to try and find solutions. Again, we don't always agree, but I greatly appreciate um, uh, their analysis that they do on some of the issues that we bring uh, to the surface. And um, what else can I say? Uh, I want to say thank you to the staff at PSPRS. Uh, thank you to Mike as well. Uh, Boy, have we come a long way in the last several years. It's, it's insane. Um, they have poured a tremendous amount of energy, uh, time, and effort into finding solutions. The pension administration system that is being implemented right now um, is not easy. Uh, a lot of, lot of hours, uh, Robert Ortega, you heard uh, from him earlier, uh, his team, uh, pouring a lot of hours into it. And then just a special thanks to uh, Christian uh, Palmer, uh, I think he's in the back of the room ignoring me right now. But uh, Christian has helped put this together. Uh, you and your team have done a great job, Jane. Thanks for the help with the PowerPoint. Anyway, I just want to say thank you also to you as well for all the work you do, uh, the local boards, uh, the members in the room. Uh, PSPRS would not exist without you. So thank you very much. Thank you, Darren. Hi, my name is Nate Weber. Uh, I am a captain with the Tucson Fire Department. I've worked for Tucson Fire for a little over 26 years. And uh, Darren, to your point, you said that Christian said to keep your, your uh, presentation sexy. And I noticed he did so by keeping my picture off of the, the chart. So anyways, uh, that being said, I, uh, I've been a member of this board and uh, was appointed about two and a half years ago uh, at the same time that that uh, Trustee Wonderly came on. Um, I have to say, I want to say thank you to everybody in this room, honestly. I mean, when we are up here presenting about PSPRS, it is a collaborative approach with every single person that's in this room. Uh, it's made up of the stakeholders, it's made up of the members, it's made up of HR staff and administrators and uh, chiefs of different departments. Uh, as well as PSPRS and the system um, and, and the cities and municipalities that they work for. So thank you to you guys. Um, that being said, uh, when I talk about a collaborative approach, I'm extremely honored to be a part of this team, um, this board of trustees, uh, our PSPRS administrator and staff do a tremendous job. Uh, I guess I would say the approach that we all take, whether we agree or not, um, we all do agree on our approach, which is to take care of the system, make sure the system is secure, make sure that we're taking care of our stakeholders, and make sure that we're taking care of the members that depend on the system. Uh, that being said, I, I think that's our driving force. Uh, I think that's all that uh, I have for now, so I'm going to pass it on to uh, Trustee McGuire. I don't know why you didn't get your picture up there. I, I don't know. It sexy. Seems kind of unfair. Anyway, my name is Alan McGuire. Uh, I first got involved with pensions in Arizona in 1987. 
I served on the Arizona State Retirement System uh, back then and a couple times after that. Um, and uh, I can tell you over that period of time, we've seen a lot of challenges in both of our pension systems. Um, and the good news is that uh, I think the two pension systems uh, are as strong as they have ever been in their history, going back to the 1960s. And that's a function of a couple things. First and foremost, it's a function of the fact that with a, only a couple exceptions um, over the years, we have had very good quality people on the boards. Uh, Arizona State uh, Retirement System went through some real crises in the early 1990s, but they pulled through. Uh, Paul Matson over there is as good a pension admi administrator as there is in the country, except for Mike, of course. Um, and their, their investment staff is the same way. Now, our two systems tend to think of each other as rivals, but I tend to think of them more as partners because they are in the top 10 systems in the entire country, both of them, both of them. That's really unique. And I believe that they both inspire each other to do better. And I will tell you that uh, um, I've had the good fortune to work with dozens and dozens of state agencies and local governments. And uh, what really makes an organization run is the quality of the people at the top. And it's not just the director, it's the, it's the five or six people that run the place. And I can tell you that when I look at Mike and Mark and Brett and, and Mike again and John and Clark, this is the best government governance team I have ever seen in my 40 plus years working with government in Arizona. They know what they're doing, they work hard, they respect each other, and they all outperform. And so that's great for you guys. Your challenge in the future is to make sure that this system has a good succession plan, which we do right now, and that over time, the people who get appointed to this board believe in the system and will protect the system because a bad board leads to bad management and a bad management leads to bad results. So um, I'm proud to be on this board. I'm proud of the pension systems in Arizona. What we have done over the last 35 years has been spectacular. It's really been the last five or six years of public safety, uh, which has been had a much more troubled history than ASRS has. But uh, if you're a public employee, whether you're a police and fire or you're a regular employee, you can be confident that you will get your retirement benefits, as Mike said earlier today, until you die. And that puts you in the small percentage of people in America. Less than 10% have that, that, that benefit, and it's probably more like 3 or 4%, frankly, given the net asset value that's behind you and the fact that these professional managers will keep that money safe, make sure you get paid on time, and that you and your beneficiaries will be taken care of throughout their lives. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Scott or Harry or somebody. I don't, I don't, does anybody have any comments reacting to anything anybody heard? I, I would just have to, listening to these gentlemen, I would say one of the common themes that we experience at the board, and I think you heard it here today, but, but how we do something is just as important as what we do. So we have process, we engage people. I can't remember a decision we made where we didn't talk about it at one or two times at a committee and then one or two times at the board before we actually make a decision. And, and sometimes we might get criticized for being a little slow, but at the same time, I think that's, that's a really good process. And I will tell you, the, when they had the reform from a couple years ago and they increased the size of the board to nine, and they changed the, the requirements and some of the background to be on the board, where we have now more balance, where you have the members are represented and there's other employers are represented, as well as people that are really, really smart, like Harry and Alan and Dean, and other things that are outside government. It's really like the perfect mix, because we all look at things from a little bit different perspective, but to, to Darren's point, we all are trying to do what's, what's absolutely right. Uh, on behalf of the members. Uh, and Nate, in terms of your picture, that's the only thing I can say is you gotta stop missing meetings, Nate. We gotta, we gotta make sure you get up there from Tucson. I, I, sorry that happened. I was just looking at that. I'm actually counting. I'm going, oh, there's only eight people up there. So, so sorry for that. So we wanted the opportunity for you to, to get a feel of who we are as people. That's absolutely tremendously important. And we have some mics out there. If, if anybody has any questions, we're more than happy to take those. Um, and if not, then we can allow you to finish your lunch and, and get on about your session. Does anybody have a question for any one of us? That's to make the room really quiet. No questions? 
Okay, well again, oops, we do have a question. Uh, let's see here, uh, I'll salt the tip jar, Scott. Uh, I guess from a, from a staff perspective, I was just wondering, what, what were some of your uh, biggest, uh, maybe biggest learning moments or uh, aha moments when you first became a trustee? All right, I'll go ahead and go down the line. Dean, you wanna take that? I would say that my biggest ma Maha. My biggest aha moment was when I saw how the board was evolving with this new collection of colleagues vis-a-vis -vis when I started. We're in a much better place. Yeah, I'll, <clears throat> I'll echo that. We had, um, we had some very serious challenges with a number of the investments and we needed to change out uh, a number of our advisors, and uh, that was not an easy process, but uh, we're much better for it than, uh, than we were, and uh, um, th things are going well at this point. So um, it's, uh, uh, it, was, it was an awful lot of change, but it needed to happen. Alan? Yeah, I guess it's pretty simple for me. <clears throat> I knew Mike Townsend before he was the administrator, or director uh, of the system uh, for a number of years. We had worked together. So I wasn't surprised when I walked in and Mike was there, but I was very surprised when I walked in and I saw what I thought were the best accountants in the state of Arizona working in one agency who had previously been, been in multiple agencies spread all over state government and suddenly they were all here and they've all been working along with the other professionals at the senior management level to make this system solid, and I believe when the new pension administration system comes in, if, if, provided Schmerich gets it done. Uh, <laughs> no stress, no pressure. When that, when that system comes in, that will give us so much better information, and information is the best protection against a declining system. So we've got good lawyers, we've got good accountants, we've got good managers, it's a great system, and I'm, I'm really shocked at the quality, and I'm really proud to be a part of this organization. Let's see, Christian, if, if I could answer your question, I, I probably would be dishonest if I didn't say that I've had quite a few aha moments. Um, I would say stepping into this, there is a tremendous amount of time and work that goes into every one of these positions, way, way more than I think most uh, realize or that I realized even stepping into it. Um, that being said, I think, I think the aha moment that tends to get me most often is the the way that this board works together and the tremendous respect and admiration I have for all of the board members as well as all the staff, uh, knowing their backgrounds, knowing their expertise, and that of what makes up this board uh, is substantial. Um, and I think even, even just the times where there has been times where we've disagreed in, in the application or where we're trying to get to or what that's gonna look like, sometimes in the policy or procedure, uh, but that aha moment has always come to where we've kind of, we've gotten back to what we're trying to accomplish and we've gotten it done. And I think that those decisions we've made have been, again, for what's best for the system, what's best for our members. Um, I would say those are probably my specific ones. Thanks, Nate. Uh, I think for me, um, I started on this board back in January of 2021, and as I started to try to wrap my head around all that encompasses uh, PSPRS, just figuring out the complexity uh, is insane. And so I recognized that the investments piece was something that I really needed to wrap my head around. And so I, I reached out to our CIO, Mark Steed, and I said, hey, would you be willing to work with me on my days off, maybe for a half an hour or an hour every Friday until I, I wrap my head around the investments. And um, Mark, even though he's insanely busy, uh, he's dealing with investments around the globe, um, he took time for me. And uh, I, I was absolutely shocked as to how much time he spent for me. Uh, had I been smarter, it would have been a lot less time. But uh, Mark uh, poured himself into uh, just teaching me about the system. And he was so patient. Uh, and, and I will just say that, that Mark is like every other staff member that I have encountered at PSPRS. Uh, if I have questions about legal issues, I might reach out to Brett Park, uh, who is 
extremely intelligent uh, and just they'll just take the time. And so anyway, for me, it's just the complexity of the system, trying to wrap my head around it and then always having that, uh, that person that I can reach out to that will help. Uh, I've reached out to board members in the past that, hey, this doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, but it's just nice to know that there's always assistance and everybody is willing to pitch in. So. I'll just go ahead and wrap this up by again saying thank you. Thank you for um, your partnership with us. We can't do what we do without you and, and vice versa. I hope you found just getting to know us very helpful. Um, these are tremendously smart, intelligent, and probably most importantly dedicated people to, to the mission of the system and, and definitely from their comments that got communicated today. So thank you gentlemen for, for all that you do. Uh, it is a pleasure to, to serve with you and, and we're doing the absolute best we, we can for our members. For those of you out there, um, we're getting ready to finish up the rest of the, the next half of the day. There's a session that stays in here. And then if you are of a financial mind and interest, you'll be going to another room for an hour or so, or a couple of hours as we go through actuarial and investment stuff. But again, we can't thank you enough for, for coming and, and being part of this process with us. So thanks again, and we hope you enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much.